Coach Sussman, one of the most entertaining things I've seen in a while today. Uh, your uh, your live goes at practice here. The fur was flying, man. Tell me about, you know, I know you don't want guys to punch each other and, and, and be a UFC fight, but you got to love the intensity. Yeah, it was good. I mean, we've been preaching that since since the last month, month and a half, if guys are picking up their intensity, and, and they they did it today. You know, I don't know if it's because you were here, the camera's on them, or whatever, but I think they're getting the message about we need to wrestle hard to win, and and Wally, he's been a he's been a team leader as far as since we've got here, and, and he made it one too far today, which I think he did a little bit, but uh, he wants to win, and he's competing hard, so we're excited about him. Wally Marzias never made the state tournament in New York, mm -hmm. and he is like the meanest meanest guy in your room, man. He looked, I was impressed. When you see guys like that that are hungry, and uh, you know he's pushing other guys. And he's, I think he had three fights today and three matches. <laughs> but when you see guys hungry like that, how does that make you feel about, you know, the job here? It makes me feel great, you know, because knowing that you have guys like that in the lineup that you're coaching that want to win as bad as you do. And, and while he's been that guy, he's been a catalyst for our program um, since I've been here. And, uh, and he, he's a leader. He's a captain. And he wants to win. And, and, yeah, it got a little heated. And I don't condone that. But, uh, you know, and all in all, while he's, he's a leader and he wants to win, he's doing all the right things to win. When I look at, you know, uh, Malvastrudo at 197, he's just another mean guy. You got a bunch of junkyard dogs, guys that want to they wanna scrap. They want to they wanna put it on the line. And I've heard some, from some people, Buffalo may not have a national qualifier this year. I mean, I'm counting it on paper. I'm seeing three or four just from what I'm seeing, you know, toughness-wise. And, and guys who've got grit and want to scrap. What do you guys got to do to get three, four, five national qualifiers. Well, I think we got to develop every day, and I think these guys are starting to do that. I think they got, they're got wrestling inside the system. Um, and, and if they do that, we will have our, you know, three, four, five, six national qualifiers. And, but the goal is always to get 10. You know, we got to get the, 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 I don't say the worst guy, but we got to get the, the guy that's not supposed to get to the national tournament. We got to get him the national tournament. But you're right, there's a lot of guys out there we're ranked last in the MAC right now. You know, to me, that's a little slap in the face, and, and that's what today was about. You know, when we get those MAC rankings, and, you know, MAC rankings don't matter, but they are people's opinion, and that's what people think of us, and we got to learn to get better, and we got to, you know, set our standards higher. So much mat wrestling today. Like, uh, the first half hour of just drilling was all mat drilling, swiveling your hips, getting loose on the bottom, hip heisting, you know, getting off the mat, keeping a base. It, it was all good stuff, stand-ups off the wall, very fundamental, basic things that I see that I try and teach my, you know, six and eight year old nephew, ten year old nephew, those basic things. Why are those things so important? Why did we see so much of that today? Well, I believe in the basics. I mean, you know, I we at Bloomsburg we won with basics, and uh, we're going to do that same that same formula here. We're not going to be a roll around team. We're not going to be a crab team. We're going to be a this a very solid fundamental team. I think basics wins. I know uh, I heard Tom Brand say it a number of years ago that, you know. He teaches basics, and that's kind of our philosophy here. And, and that's the way we're going to go about it, and that's the way we're going to build this program, which is basic fundamental wrestling because I think that wins at the highest level. Coach, if there's one thing you know you, that you didn't see today that you want to see, what was it? I just want to see some guys finishing practice out hard. The young guys just keep fighting hard even though they're getting beat. Um, as long as they keep progressing and developing and fighting, I think they're going to get better.